Praise the Lord, everyone. We greet you in the wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ, on the occasion of presenting and honoring our bishops. We thank God for our chairman, Bishop David Maxwell, along with his officers, uh, Bishop Rule McCoy, the vice chairman of the Board of Bishops, and Bishop Reggie Davis, our chief of staff. We present to you this open uh, photo album, so to speak, of the many moments, precious moments, we've had down through the years in the Board of Bishops. We honor our presiding apostle, Bishop James I. Clark, Jr., and his wife, and we want the Board of Bishops to know he was one of the chairs earlier, but we all have the same mission. That mission is reaching the lost. That's our main objective. And here we are, all these overseers, men of devotion, men of sacrifice, men of conviction, men of vision, men with a responsibility. The International Board of Bishops and its officers work as a team, and we are so grateful for such an efficient group of workmen. This tape is sponsored by the Contender for the Faith History Channel, something new that we want to add to our historical archives. So we present to you. But we first and foremost give honor to our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bishop of our souls. We wouldn't be here. No one would be here without him. We're grateful for our founder, Mr. R.C. Lawson, who uh, fought tuberculosis, but he really was fighting, coming into the ministry. But the Lord had him come to his senses he became one of the greatest men of God during the century in which he lived. His work still is reaching bounds people really don't remember. And he was brought from tuberculosis out of the hospital into the world where he would preach the gospel. So we salute our founder first, Bishop R.C. Lawson, because he did, had the vision. He came to New York with no members. And yet, when you look at a chart that I will show you shortly, he was all that is here. Preacher of the gospel, founder of schools, scholar, Bible student, radio minister, poet, songwriter, orator, publisher, community leader, and businessman. He was also very much committed to civil rights and to the welfare people. And he always taught us to think God first. Always think God first. And not after you call the doctor, not after you call the lawyer, but think God first. Thou will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So we present to you uh, first and foremost, our founder, our affable man, a man who would go and reach out to people. We were, in 1957, there was a march on Washington, and you see Dr. King behind him, Bishop Lawson, participated in a march on Washington in 1957. He was a man known on the radio as the cry loud, spare not preacher. He was a man of conviction. He was a man who would go after people who did ridiculous things. And he was declared uh, one of the 50 top ministers by Ebony Magazine in 1953. He spoke everywhere. He inspired everyone he came in contact with. He was one who would always enjoy people. And he told us many times, and we have so many lessons from he and Bishop Barnett, pray as if everything depends on God, then work as if God has. 
everything depending on you. Bishop Lawson, they asked me for permission to use his picture as scholars Douglas Jacobson wrote about the theology and the writings of Bishop Lawson. I was fortunate enough to know him as a child, to, to go get his sandwiches and carry his bag and do many things as a teenager around his office. And I observed a man who was outgoing to all and always uh, looked after people. He loved children. He loved to travel. He loved to read. Then we want to show you our other hero because we're all part of heroes and mentors. And Bishop Bonner has brought us uh, a legacy in prayer. Uh, you'll see a slide later on with all the p churches he has built. And then you'll see him stretched down on the floor. And he told me, Bob, I can get more done on my face than I can running around all week. He built a school or a college in Columbia, South Carolina, the W.L. Bonner College. And he saw that. We stood in that February cold day. We stood out there. But he saw it all from this lot of 20 acres that were built. We've done such great things. Two great organizations came together, uh, Bible Bay Churches and the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, Bishop Smalley Williams and Bishop Bonner, and we brought together 20,000 people for the 1989 Apostolic Fellowship. What a great service it was, and you can uh, get and see that live on the same channel. He loved his preachers. He, he appreciated Bishop Henry Ross and all that he did. And Ross would go up and down the aisle and determine that a new church would be built. And the school that he envisioned, Bishop Lawson envisioned, Bishop Bonner brought to reality uh, the W.L. Bonner College. We didn't have uh, as many apostles then as we did now. Bishop H.D. Jones, Bishop J.P. Stedman, or oh, we just love the fact Bishop Solomon and uh, Bishop Perry Thomas. Uh, but you could always find Bishop Bonner doing what he loved most, teaching and preaching the gospel with his father and the gospel on his mind. We didn't just come around all the bishops you will see in this tape, but we have many women who were prayer supporters who work with us, Mother Brooks, um, Mother Pandora Williams, I could go on with so many who uh, assisted Mother Dorothy Anderson and um, so many work in the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Bishop Lonnie Green told me one time, he said, when an elephant is born in India, they put a chain around his leg and then he, he's a little baby then he grows up and he's stronger than ever but in his mind he, he has uh, limited capacity but we know that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us and the Lord has blessed the church of our Lord Jesus Christ Bishop Lawson, Bishop Spencer and Bishop Bonner and all the presiders that follow for churches all around the world the first bishop, uh, Bishop Charles Michael, was sent to Santo Domingo. He passed it in Trenton, New Jersey. He was a great friend of Bishop James I. Clark Sr. And, of course, there are so many uh, that we can give tribute to. But let's just relax and look at these special moments in the history of the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ.